get a question from Amir who's wondering how valuable are videos for hitting techniques in the gym. So his question is, how much do you think that watching videos will actually help you hit techniques during rolling? That's his question. So Amir, thanks for the question, brother. And it's a good one, right? Because there's lots of videos out there. So let's sort of, we'll throw an analogy like this. Let's think of uh, two people that want to learn how to play football, right? Person A, person B. So they want to learn how to play football. So in America, that would be the pads and the helmets and clashing together. For the rest of the world, it would be football, like we call soccer in America. It probably makes more sense to call what you call soccer football, but whatever, we're in America, so <laughs> I'm talking about football. But anyway, <laughs> I'm getting off track. So going to those two people, person A, person B. Let's say person A knows everything about football. They watch the games, they know the positions, they know how it all works, they know the plays, they just watch it religiously. It is their sport. They've just never played it yet. Person B has heard a little bit about it, maybe watched a couple games. His friend's playing it. He's like, you know, I'll give it a try. Doesn't know much about it though. You take those two people in. Let's assume that they're physically about the same. Assuming that, who do you think is going to learn football easier? Who do you think is going to be able to pick up the, the, the skills necessary to play the game easier? Person A or person B? I put my money on person A because I have this kind of situation happen all the time in the gym where I'll have people come into the gym who were like me when I started back in the day who know everything about jujitsu. They've studied it. They've watched the videos. They know all the positions, names. They know all this stuff. And then I've had people that then come into the gym also who don't know much about jujitsu. They've watched a couple MMA fights. Their buddy at work who trains here said it was kind of cool. So they're like, I kind of want to just try it out. And they come in. And assuming they're about the physical same, again, person A learns much faster. Now, it's not to say that person B can't learn it. It's just their overall knowledge from watching all the video is going to be much, it, it, it sort of lays the groundwork so that it's easier to pack on the, the information afterwards. And so that's one way that videos can help you, right? Now getting into specific techniques, I just wanted to lay that out there first because watching videos is a good idea as far as increasing your overall jujitsu IQ. Getting to the specific techniques, I can't say for certain for everyone, but I can tell you that I've gotten, I've hit a lot of techniques from watching videos and then doing them in the gym. One of the first times it happened was I came back from a layoff back, uh, I trained for like five or six months, or excuse me, I was off for about five or six months and came back to jujitsu. Um, and when I came back, I remember I had been watching this fight with Minotaro Noguera over and over again and back in the pride days. And he did this really cool arm bar from the turtle. So basically the guy was turtled and he had his arms kind of posted and he leapt over for the arm bar and got it. It was a beautiful arm bar. And I remember I would watch that arm bar over and over and over again. And I would kind of adjust and look at the details and kind of look at the way he was hitting it. Well, so he hit that armbar and I watched it a bunch. Well, when I came back to my very first day of jiu-jitsu after about five or six months, I remember I was rolling with the guy, we're going back and forth, and I remember getting to the turtle position, and I was like, ah, oh, it's that move, and I tried it. And I jumped over him, hit the armbar, and I hit it. Hit it and successfully got the submission. Now, it was uglier. It was not the Minotaro Noguera armbar, but I got something going from it. And where I'm getting with this is that kind of pattern has been the reason I've been able to use techniques from videos over and over again. And that is I watch it again and again and again, almost obsessively, right? Like have you, have you ever had someone that you, you watched a movie with and they knew the movie line for line, <laughs> almost obnoxiously so where they knew all the words and stuff? You kind of want to do that. So let's say that you're watching an instructional video. Let's say that you're watching a match and you find a gym. You find something you're like, ooh, that's cool. I think I can use that tomorrow. Well, you don't want to keep watching everything else. You want to stop right there and you want to watch that over and over over and over again. And again, it doesn't mean you have to sit there just and keep watching it every single, like for like three hours straight, but like every day you might get up there and kind of just watch it a little bit, just to remind yourself and then go into the gym and train and kind of just re do essentially it's, it's a mental rep is really what it is. And there is some, some studies that they have out to support the idea that mental reps are useful. Like there was a uh, audio lecture that I was listening to it was part of the great courses lectures that they have on audible. And it was about learning. And in the course that she was talking about, the woman was explaining why they did a study where they had all these different segments of people uh, trying to learn a particular uh, movement pattern. And what they found, the basic gist of it was that if someone does mental repetitions first, basically watching other people do it, do it, and then visualizing themselves doing, it, kind of going through the motions mentally, that when they do the physical reps, the physical movements actually in person, that it's, they do them more efficiently and they, do them, they get better at them faster because they were sort of primed if you will, with the mental reps. And so what I would say to you is, along with increasing your overall IQ of jiu-jitsu, videos are helpful for that, 
if you want to do something specific with a technique or whatever it is, whether you find it in a match or an instructional, do mental reps. Watch it a lot. Watch it over and over again because what will happen is you'll start to see new details that you miss like after the first 20 times or whatever. And then this way you're kind of priming yourself so that this way if you're watching it before you go into the gym and train, you're watching the movement, watching the movement, okay, then you go into the gym and train, you're probably going to find that it's on the forefront of your mind and it's probably going to be easier to make that sort of thing happen. And so that would be the idea for you. So just an idea to chew on for you, Amir, and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you.